Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Tanek127, and welcome back to Tanek FPS. And guys, in today's video, I do want to talk to you all about some more X Defiant. Now, it looks like we finally got a little bit of a developer update after the past um, closed beta test, which involved PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. Still no word on previous gen versions of X Defiant, but um, if you do want to stay up to date on those, make sure you are liking this video and subscribing to the channel. So that way you will learn here first when news comes out for X Defiant regards, in regards to those platforms. But anyway, um, we do have some key takeaways from the beta. They posted a little developer article just here the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just let this be like um, April's, let this be April's dev update because this article technically did come out in, you know, in April and stuff like that, even though by the time you guys are watching this video, it'll be the beginning, the beginning of May. But you, you guys get what I mean. <laughs> so first and foremost, um, the beta did well. They had, um, it ran for a total of 12 days instead of 10 because as you guys know, it was extended for two days because of the little, um, issue where they had the console versions down for 48 hours. But it says they had over 1 million participants in the beta. The game also did very well on Twitch, so that is a very good sign. You know, big shout out to all the people that were hating and doubting on X Defiant when it was first announced over a year ago. But, um, yeah, so uh, the, the article here is actually done by Patrick Price, a.k.a. Aix, the pro player who is currently working for Ubisoft. Um, they go to highlight on a couple of things here that they want to do, that they want to do and continue moving forward. Their first big one is they want to continue to connect with the community. If you guys were on Twitter or, you know, YouTube, Facebook or anything at all, you guys will not will know that Aches, Mark Rubin, a lot of the Ubisoft team and even in their Discord, they were on fire with communication. Mark was damn near replying to every single person that tweeted at him. They were, you know, just taking in all kinds of feedback. They do want to continue doing this throughout X Defiance life cycle. That's one thing they have... They have um, doubled down on. They want to do that. They want to make sure the game is bustling and filled with content every single season. And, you know, if their content is going to look anywhere like their communication does, I'm personally not concerned in that, in that department because they have done very well with communicating with the community. Now, they have been talking about um, balancing and stuff like that. Um, two really hot topics for them with balancing were... Um, one people thinking dead sec was um was a little bit too weak and a harder of a uh, of a faction to use. Me personally, I don't find dead sec really difficult. I just think you know people have to learn to use them in the right manner. Like for example, a lot of people complain that the libertads are very overpowered thanks to their healing and stuff like that. Dead sec is the one faction that can actually counter them regularly if you play them right because they have the power to shut abilities off. So you. You know, you need to get good with um with uh with utilizing those abilities and stuff like that. Their ultimate literally shuts off all other factions. They're also looking at um at some of their modes and everything like that. One really big mode that people just had a lot of fun with was um Hotshot. I know me personally, my son, my girl, we all really loved Hotshot. It was a it's like a crazy blend of team deathmatch, kill and kill confirmed. Like um what you would do is you would go around and collect these coins for killing other players. But the person with the most coins would become the hotshot. They would have their health buff, their movement speed buff, and their gun damage buff. So the hotshot was kind of, you know, like a more difficult player to take out. And apparently, the way we and the community played it was very different than how the developers played it on the um, on the inside. And I think, you know, developers are starting to learn that with their games more and more. That the way, you know, actual gamers play it and the way you guys work and that you intend your mode... It can always come out being different. But with that being said, they're actually pleased because they did what they wanted to do and they wanted to make something that was unique without mimicking the typical team deathmatch formula. And I don't know about you guys, but I think Hot Shot was a lot of fun and I definitely think that's going to be one of the, um, the bigger things. Also, another thing they seem to notice is what people saw with um, modes like Escort and Zone Control, how they, were, how they had two rounds in ranked, but they were only one round in casual. People seem to like the more two-round style modes. And I think that's because, you know, that's how those modes typically are in casual in most other games. Games like Paladins, Overwatch, and stuff like that. You know, you do you do get to play those modes going on going on both sides. And, you know, whoever 
wins out of out of all rounds is dubbed the winner. So I think you know the um, casual version should be like should be like that too. They did also notice that players do want to party up a lot. I mean, it's a Call of Duty like game that should should have been a no brainer. I mean, does so they definitely need to work on that also? Um, focus on getting parties set up for uh, for ranked. Apparently, you know, you're going to be at a party up in ranked. It just wasn't ready for the alpha version of ranked that um that came out. Me personally. I really enjoyed playing ranked 4v4 when I um when I got to try it during the during the beta test week. I actually enjoyed ranked a bit more than I did casual, just because you know I have this this view of X Defiant as a more competitive game, and I think that's where X Defiant actually sh shines the most. Now they were talking a bit more about faction use here as well. It's kind of like you know like what I highlighted earlier and stuff like that. Libertad's obviously overpowered. They're probably going to be nerfing Libertad in some way, shape, or form. I don't know if they're going to reduce the healing, give it a longer cooldown or what, but Libertad's going to be going to get smacked up for full release. We know that. We just they haven't clarified on what exactly they plan on they plan on um on doing. Now they were also talking about sniping in here as well. From the looks of this article, it does look it does look like they like where sniping is, seeing it get so much love, and they said maybe a little bit too much. They're going to have to look at that. Because I'm um, quick scopers were really, really good in this game. Like it, it felt a bit, <laughs> a bit too much nostalgic. If you guys get, if you guys get what I'm saying here. But at the same time, you don't want to ruin their ruin their fun. You know, it, it was classic. You know, it was like like you know the good old glory days of COD. And honestly, if snipers stay the way they are, I'm personally okay with that. I like. You know, if you have the talent to quick scope, you know, you should be rewarded for it. That's how I feel with these kind of games. Let me know how you're feeling down in the um, comments below. But basically, they're just talking about, you know, like what's next and stuff. They're going to be probably with their heads down for a while, working on development, getting things ready for launch and everything like that. Unfortunately, they don't really mention a, um, a another beta phase in here. So I don't know if the next phase is going to be some type of open beta or launch. Me personally, I really think they should do an open beta with the last gen consoles involved because they had network problems as soon as they brought in the current gen consoles. Not a lot of people have these current gen consoles yet. So if you saw all those high numbers from the current gen consoles, imagine how much bigger the player counts are going to be once you mix in the 7 and 8 year old PlayStation 4 and Xbox One users. But anyway, guys, that's just my opinion. Let me know how y'all are feeling down in the comments below. Anyway, y'all enjoyed today's video? Smash that like. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.